Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about the web application presentation test exam. exam. I got it recently, like a few days ago. This exam was very challenging in a sense uh, because it helps you to develop technical skill, but mainly soft skill because you need to deal also with stress, you need to deal also with reporting. And in particular, in this exam, the report needs to be quite nice in the structure because it's almost like you need to be you need to deliver it also the the awpt was the same but this one was more tough in a sense and also the application was very uh purpose the web application so you need to look deeply on it and uh, make a nice reconnaissance and look at the error messages so right now i want to focus at first on the structure of the course and after i will talk about my personal thoughts and tips on how to successfully pace the exam this course web application penetration test exam brings students into a new world of advanced exploitation technique using real world scenario with challenging and extremely hands-on laboratories in which to put the covered techniques into practice in fact you can see here that the course cover like um, at first, encoding and filtering, because you need to deal with WAF mainly during this, this exploitation, evasion basics, and so on. You can see here cross site scripting. Cross site scripting is not so different from the one that uh, was present in the AWPT, but uh, there is, I think, a, a more uh, advanced technique to, to learn. Also, the XSS filter evasion and WAF bypassing. This is very nice. You need it truly. Cross-site request forgery, HTML5, SQL injection. And in the SQL injection, I want to focus a little bit because there will be uh, mainly the evasion, the WAF bypassing, but also uh, second order SQL injection and so on. XML attacks. This is uh, also a key thing that you need to learn and master it in order to pass the exam. Attacking serialization. Uh, which also is another key thing. Server side attacks, attacking crypto, attacking authentication, pen testing API, attacking light uh, weight directory access protocol. I don't want to div, uh, dive deep into all this topic because I think if you're interested, you want to start to do the exam. It's just uh, that you need to go to our the courses and there is a lot of labs. Also, there is also these resources, which is very interesting in a sense because it has a lot of references uh, that in case you don't want to enroll your in the course made by INE, you can just focus on this and rely on also Web Security Academy uh, because uh, yeah, there, there is all the web application security that you want to learn. I want to give my personal thoughts about the exam because uh, it was very challenging in a sense. I recently moved here to the Netherlands in Amsterdam. So there was also the relocation and all the things surrounding, on, surrounding it. But uh, it was quite stressful in a sense because uh, even if you are super skilled or you find a lot of things, a lot of finding, you need to write it decently in a report. And yeah, as I've been asked to, be, to review my report. Uh, I, so I submitted it twice just because I was really truly stressed and I tried to just uh, enumerate the objectives, the main objectives required, and, uh, but that's not the, the way to pass it in a sense because this is like a simulation of a pen test. So you need to construct a report in order to be delivered to a customer or to whatever. So you need to write it decently in a structure that is the standard structure. And also it can be fun because fortunately I was uh, given by uh, LN security like seven days more uh, in this certification. And meanwhile, I was uh, also reviewing the report. I was also testing another time the web application with another uh, perspective. I really enjoyed in a sense because in that moment I was already uh, aware that I, I passed the exam but I try to enhance it in a sense to look around and see because it's difficult to find nowadays a structure where you can simulate and do attacks 
if you have the authorization for a pen test activity, yeah, you will find a way to exploit them, but you also have some restriction as the rule of engagement. Even here, there is rule of engagement, but mainly you are free to do whatever you want. So yeah, taking consideration this exam is very useful in a sense, not uh, just about technical skill, but also soft skill, because you will uh, grow personally with it. See you in the future.